Excellent, Marcus. It's all coming together nicely. Yes, I agree. I don't see how... Marcus, I'm going to have to call you back. No, no problem. Just a slight disturbance. Mr. Phillips, I'm Detective Chief Inspector. Detective Chief Inspector Sloan and Detective Inspector Mullen. Yes, I know who you both are. All right, smart guy. If you're so smart, you'll know why we're here. Routine checkup. We want to know your connection to Francis McDaid. He got himself into a bit of bother whilst inside and started talking. Your name came up. That's interesting. McDade, McDade. Now, I know that name. I read in the papers. Crime boss, right? Drug peddler. Spouted off some rubbish about some sort of lightning vigilante. Don't play games, Phillips. Gentlemen, would I play games with such intelligent people as yourself? Just sit down. We're not leaving until we get answers. Hey. Slowly. I didn't want to interrupt our little chat. So tell us, what do you know about McDade? All of it. Certainly. May I get you a coffee? Mary makes a fantastic cappuccino. Always an alleyway. Never a pub or a casino. Hell, I'd even take a beach. But no, always an alleyway. Please, please, Mrs. Jones. I don't have it. I swear I don't have it. Please, you can't believe me. Don't lie, Stephen. Give it to me. I don't. Big Dave. I gave it to Big Dave. I gave it to Big Dave. Mr. Phillips is paying me good money for this little job. I've got no time limit. I can torture you all night, until your eyes melt out of their sockets. You could at least take him out for dinner first. Go home, little boy. It's past your bedtime. Oh, will you tuck me in? What has he done? It's none of your business. It's my city. It's my business. I didn't see your name on it. Seriously, are you like ten years old or something? You tire me. I don't like tiresome boys. Oh, does this mean we can't be pen pals? Electric rod. I'm gonna burn your little face off. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. <laughs> and what's that? Your invisible electric rod? No, no. Much more impressive than that. You might say I have an electric personality. It'd be far more impressive if you just didn't talk. What are you? Nobody, if you choose to walk away. Not until he gives me what I'm after. I don't have anything! What doesn't he have? A key! Which opens what? Something my employer wants me to retrieve. And who's your employer? That's for me to know and you to find out. Playing games again, are we? I'm quite enjoying playing little games with you. Well, the fun's gone. Can I be gone? <laughs> no, you can shut your mouth. Leave him alone, he's done nothing wrong. Thank you. I have had more than enough of you. I'm sorry, gentlemen. All I can tell you is that Mr McDade worked in one of my clubs. I was unaware of his personal activities. And what is this? Do you want my autograph? We were at the dockyards last week. A boat came in. We had an assortment of boxes. Private and confidential boxes. And what exactly does that have to do with me? My name isn't on it. True. But one of the companies you run just happens to be on it. Gentlemen, I'm involved with lots of different companies. Smaller companies who simply need some financial backing to help them get off the ground. Not enough people in this country are brave or clever enough to do the same. Enough lies, Phillips. Don't give us the runaround. 
What offshore limited do if their company and money is nothing to do with me? Perhaps you should check the contents of the boxes yourself. All right, Phillips, enough. You know we couldn't get permission to look inside the boxes. We all know you've got friends in high places. What's in the boxes? Drugs. Weapons. Merchandise. Without my lawyer present, I will say only this. I have nothing to do with the contents of those boxes. Enough, wise, Phillips! Enough! You'd better train that dog of yours, Inspector. Or we might have to put him down. We'll find out the truth, Phillips. And when we do, we'll put you in the filthiest, nastiest prison we can find. <laughs> I'm a respected businessman in this city. Respected by the right people. You'd be wise to fall in line, detectives. No. Until you have the authority, leave my office and don't return. I hate that scumbag. It just makes me sick that people like him are making a living exploiting other folks' weaknesses. It's a cruel world, Chief. We'll never give up. He'll slip eventually. And when he does, we'll be ready for him. <laughs> exactly. You know, you may think I'm crazy, Mullen, but... Do I believe in this superhero vigilante character? Is it crazy? The rumours. Stories. Maybe just wishful thinking. I mean, we've only heard reports. I just can't believe it. But we've seen so many crazy things in this city. Is it so wrong to believe there is somebody else fighting in our corner? What would we do if we ever saw him? Actually caught up with the guy? Applaud him. Why? It's obvious he's fighting in our corner, isn't it? I don't know, Chief. A guy with electricity that comes out of his body. Is that not a bit marvel? It could be possible. Well, let, let's say that if he does exist, then he's out there, saving people, playing the hero. What's wrong with that? Well, that means that he's got some sort of immense power. Even power can corrupt even the purest of people. True. Well then, how long will it be before he abuses that power? How long will it be before he crosses that fine line between hero and villain? Well, let's just pray that day never happens, eh? doesn't have the key. Yes, he does. No, I don't! Hmm? Yes, you do. Don't! Give me the key. I'll look after. But I don't have the key. Mm. Give me it. Or what? You shock me. Trust me. That's not going to... Ah! Phillips wants you dead. I'd leave town if I were you. People are going to want to know about you. You could seriously disturb Phillips' plans. But who am I to interfere? Enjoy the headache. Miss Jones, good evening, my good lady. How did your little meeting go? Hmm. Excellent. Did you have any trouble? Oh, I understand. Certainly, we'll have to bring a plan into action. Alice Emberog's specialist. In the meantime, the schedule remains. Take the key to David and then leave the city. Marcus, I'm sorry we were interrupted. 
I'd like you to do me a favor. Eliminate McDade. Thank you, Marcus. So she got away with the keys? Uh-huh. And all she did to get past you was hit you over the head with a rod. Uh-huh. Some hero. Shut up.